Hey guys, welcome back to Cyber Central. Today we'll talk about why the IRS gives you $1.25 million if you crack Monero. Let's head into it. Crypto Hacks Cases of breaches and fraud in the cryptocurrency market are pushing towards their highest count this year, a study released on Tuesday showed, rising alongside growth in the market itself to a more than $2 trillion valuation. 32 incidents of hacked and fraud for a total value of $2.99 billion have taken place so far in 2021. That's on course to break the 38 cases tallied in 2020, with that figure representing a 40.7% climb from 2019, according to the analysis from CryptoHead, which tracks information and writes guides about the cryptocurrency markets. The average value of this year's breach and fraud cases comes in at $93.3 million. On average, the number of offences grows 41% every year, it said. Breaches of wallets and exchanges are the most common type of hack, with 126 in the last 10 years, outstripping attacks and fraud involving DeFi or decentralized finance at 41 each. However, the number of DeFi breaches is on the increase with this new technology more open to potential weaknesses," wrote James Page, a crypto-technical writer at CryptoHead. In the last 10 years, $19.2 billion has been stolen through breaches and fraud. Bitcoin is the most targeted cryptocurrency, accounting for 33.3 of hacking and fraud cases. The world's most traded digital coin, Bitcoin's valuation on Tuesday was re-approaching $1 trillion, following a sell-off. Bitcoin accounts for about 43% of the cryptocurrency market, whose valuation has soared this year to $2.1 trillion, according to CoinMarketCap.com. Ethereum is the second most targeted crypto, logging 36, or 12.8% of breaches over the last decade. The United States is the most commonly targeted country, with 17 hack and fraud cases, followed by the UK and South Korea at 12 and 9 incidents respectively. 2021 may set a record number of offences, but hackers made the most money in 2017, stealing $233.5 million on average and highs of $4.7 billion in total. The largest breach to date is Mt. Gox, with $615 million stolen over the years, leading to the platform's insolvency in 2014, said CryptoHead. CryptoHead said the majority of the data it analyzed came from Crystal, a digital asset analytics platform, and that it omitted instances of crypto seized by governments or law enforcement authorities. You know in that case that you got mugged, but you could actually be having cryptocurrency and somebody could be hacking you right now. You could be losing all your holdings right now without you even knowing. Why the IRS pays you to crack Monero? Other online breaches last month included the major US hospital chain and a well-known crypto exchange. It was only a few weeks ago that CypherTrace, a leading cryptocurrency intelligence company, announced that it had developed forensic tools for the US Department of Homeland Security to trace and visualize Monero transaction flows for criminal investigations. For those of you who are not familiar with Monero, it's the most well-known privacy-focused cryptocurrency. And according to a recent survey, 45% of the dark net markets use Monero, just behind Bitcoin. Financial regulators have always been wary of how the decentralized cryptos are structured, giving them limited ability to track them, especially when it comes to privacy features built in crypto coins like Monero. Keeping the focus on Monero, now another US government institution, namely the Internal Revenue Service or IRS, has offered a bounty of $1.25 million to data mining companies to develop Monero tracing tools. I guess Cypher Trace's forensic tools weren't good enough. Moving on to some of the significant data breach incidents that took place last month. Universal Health Services A major US hospital chain, Universal Health Services, which operates more than 250 hospitals and other clinical facilities in the country, experienced a computer outage that was apparently caused by a cyber attack. The Fortune 500 company, with 90,000 employees, was in a mad scramble as workers reverted to paper-based systems to provide healthcare to patients in a system that is already burdened by the pandemic. Healthcare institutions have been increasingly under threat from ransomware attacks during the pandemic, 
according to data compiled by the cybersecurity firm MSISoft. 764 healthcare providers in the US were victimized in 2019 alone, causing $9 billion a year in terms of recovery and lost productivity. Argentina's Immigration Agency A few weeks before the prior incident, the official government agency of Argentina, Dirección Nacional de Migraciones, suffered the so-called Netwalker ransomware attack that temporarily halted border crossing into and out of the country. Along with healthcare facilities, cities, and local agencies have also become a hotspot for such cyber attacks recently. Argentina's cybercrime agency first reported the incident on the morning of August the 27th, when several border checkpoints advised the agency of the issue, leading to a temporary suspension of border crossings for four hours. Bleeping Computer found out from the network a Tor payment page that the hackers demanded a ransom of $4 million. This was the first known attack against a federal agency that has interrupted the operations of an entire country. Qcoin Crypto Exchange Crypto exchanges are one of the most favorite destinations of attacks for hackers. The Singapore headquartered digital asset exchange Qcoin was deprived of over $150 million in a security breach. According to the statement published by the digital exchange, the hackers got hold of the private keys to the exchange's hot wallets. What do you think about Monero and hacks? Should crypto be more regulated and secured by the government? Tell us in the comments. This brings us to the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure that you'll love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.